This morning, get ready to receive from God like never before and be prepared for an experience of God's favor and mercy. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Chola or Shima Kinde. Jesus, we give you praise, we worship you. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Wherever you are this morning, lift up your hands and let's worship God. Let's give him praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What a beautiful Monday morning. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome in all your ways. We will trust you, Lord. We will obey you, Lord. Blessed be your name. We give you praise. We worship you. Hallelujah. Oh, this is a very wonderful Monday morning. Listen. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, this morning we'll be praying. We're going this direction of learning to obey the voice of the Lord. Obeying the voice of the Lord. Now, I want to read the scripture to us. And then we can use it for our devotion this morning. You know, the Bible says, Job 36, 11, If they obey and serve him, they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. If they obey and serve him. There is an aspect of Christianity where you must obey what the Lord is telling you to do. This morning, as we worship and pray together, I'm being led, I'm being directed to call someone's attention to you need to go and do whatsoever the Lord has been prompting you to do. Hallelujah. One of the prayers we are praying this morning, or the prayer we are praying this morning, is first of all to ask God to remind us any instruction that he has given that we are not remembering anymore or the ones that we remember and for one reason or the other you don't want to do. This is number 28. The Bible says, shall come to pass. Verse 1. If thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all that I command thee this day. From time to time, God gives a command. He gives an instruction. And the Spirit of God must be obeyed. The way we have been led this morning is to call people's attention to what is the Lord telling you to do that you are not doing? Hallelujah. We must obey. We must do. We must be doers. One day, God called Abraham, Genesis 26, 22. 
It's a story that every Christian knows. And he said, I need your son Isaac to be sacrificed. Go to a mountain that I will show you. And Abraham woke up early in the morning. Not only did he obey God, he obeyed early. He just responded to what God asked him to do. That kind of instruction that was given to Abraham, it was difficult for Papa Abraham to carry out, but he did notwithstand it, not even hesitating at all. At times, we are being told by the Lord to drop something, to stop doing something, stop going somewhere, stop using some words, or to give, at times to apologize, at times to reach out to somebody, at times to preach. I'm saying this morning, we are about to pray for grace to obey whatsoever the Lord is saying that we should do. Some instructions are simple. Some are not very easy on the flesh. However, the Lord must be obeyed. Oh, this morning, wherever you are watching me, your obedience to his voice is tied to your victory. There are realms, there are levels of blessings that you will never assess until you start obeying what the Lord will ask you to do. He will lead you. You will just feel it at times in your heart. He may ask you to help somebody. Look beyond yourself and do whatsoever the Lord is asking you to do. You can begin to pray by asking Him to show you clearly steps he wants you to think, things he wants you to do, decisions he wants you to make. Whatever you are this morning, let us pray together. Lift up your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you help me. First of all, to know what you want me to do and then grace to obey. Whether it sounds simple or difficult, help me to obey whatsoever you are asking me to do. Go ahead and pray. Ask him for grace to do the revelation of his plan. There must be a time in your life that you must take steps in obedience to God's instruction that is given to you. Go ahead and pray. Ask him to guide. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, lead us this morning. We ask for grace. We ask for grace as we set out this new week. Show us how we need to obey you. Show us which area and grant us grace to obey at all times in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, it was after obeying God that then the Lord said to Abraham, Now I know that you, I mean, <laughs> as if God didn't know before, then he gave him a promise, an everlasting promise. There is always a blessing attached to obedience. I am persuaded in my heart that there are so many people watching me this morning. Some, you know exactly what the Lord wants you to do. Maybe it's difficult. Maybe you need to go reconcile with somebody. Maybe you need to repent of something. Maybe they say you need to do a restitution, returning something that does not belong to you. Maybe God wants you to give. Maybe he wants you to help somebody. And anytime you think about it, it's a hard decision to make. This morning I pray for grace that in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not turn away from the voice of the Lord, but that you will do what He's asking you to do in the name of of Jesus Christ. Grace to know His will and grace to do His will. Grace to obey His voice in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a blessed me for you with great testimonies, glorious victories on every side in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember to always follow this broadcast on all our social media platforms. God is good and his mercy endures forever. Trust and obey. There's no other way.